Welcome back. We are here looking at the energy market and this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, October 18, 2021. If you like support our channel, you want to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos and we'll start by looking at WTI oil and we'll look at the weekly chart first. And as you can see, we are way above the middle of the, the top of the bullish band and Usually that means that we are expecting a pullback. You can see it right here. Also here that uh, when this uh, basically goes out, it tends to pull back quite aggressively. But at the end of the session on Friday, there was almost no pullback. So uh, similar to what happened here in the end of June, we see that we have a pullback and it expected to, pull, uh, to fall. If you get a red opening um, on uh, tomorrow's session, then and then it may indicate that we are ready to pull back towards the middle or basically the bottom of the bullish band. So um, the middle uh, long term will be 71 give or take and the bottom here would be roughly 63. Um, energy market or oil market have been rallying significantly since it tested uh, the um, $62 uh, level and uh, have been rallying since. If you look at the MACD for the weekly, we can see it has crossed the signal right here and it's bullish. The stochastic is also bullish and so is the RSI and it is at the moment overbought. If we look at the, the daily, uh, we may see one or two more days where this will rally until we basically get to the top of the, the Bollinger Band. Uh, but pullbacks towards the uh, 20 expansion moving average, which is at 77 at this moment has offered massive amount of support. We can see it here, also here, here, every time we get close to that moving average. So uh, buyers are coming in every time they see these pullbacks towards the 20 exponential. MACD is bullish, the RSI is sarcastic is bullish, and so is RSI, and it is significantly overbought. So one or two more trading days, that probably will be uh, maximum if we can continue this rally at, at this stage. For our chart, as well here, uh, the 20 exponential and the bottom of the bullish band or the 50 moving average have offered massive amounts of support. And uh, it doesn't seem like we are about to turn around anytime soon at this uh, end of four hour chart. MACD is still bullish, stochastic is bullish, and so is the RSI, and we're not even overbought at this stage. So let's look at the natural gas market. So we'll look at the weekly chart first. And as you can see, we had this a massive um, shooting star here, uh, la not last week, but a second week. And that was indication that this market was in trouble. And uh, we got further news that uh, Russia will basically start uh, increasing its supplies to the European market. Whether or not that is true or not, that is to be seen. Um, but we have warnings here, for example, the stochastic is looking very bearish long term. The RSI is also um, uh, pulling back in the weekly chart. We're still at 80, so we're still significantly overbought. Uh, but uh, MACD is still way above its signal line. When this crosses here in the weekly chart, that could be an indication that this will pull back quite aggressively, but we're not there yet at all. So in the weekly chart, it has found support here, here at the 20 exponential haven't really hit it for a very long time, but at this point it's very overstretched or it was significantly overstretched and also overbought at this point. So pullbacks probably will continue in the long term. If you look at the daily, we can see that it has bounced off the 20 exponential, the middle moving average um, several times, and it's looking more, more uh, negative at this, at this point. If we have a break below the 20 exponential, it opens the door to the 50 moving average and uh, probably $5 around this area here. So 50 moving average is at 4.8 at this point. If you look at a MACD, it crosses the signal line right here. So it has been bouncing off here, but it crosses the line here. And since then, we have had a downwards momentum. Same for the stochastic, it is bearish, and so is the RSI. But a break below here opens the door to the 50 moving average and break below that. Well, then we are looking at much, much lower levels, probably down toward four dollars or the 200 moving average, but that is very far off at this at this current stage. So we look at four hour chart, we can see that 200 moving average is kind of where um, this has found support in the past. 
We saw this uh, back in uh, in uh, 12th of October, and we are kind of heading to back towards the uh, 200 moving average. So that is roughly give or take a five point three dollars, and uh, it doesn't look like this is going to uh, rally anytime soon. If we break below here, then the open the opens the door to five dollars. So that would kind of be the warning sign that we are going to go significantly lower if the 200 moving average breaks in the four hour chart. So hope you find this helpful. You want to support your channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.